Alrighty, so it's been a while since I made a video. I made a video on Gaming Brit last time and that was hilarious. So I wanted to make a new video just on some basic Resident Evil news. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is Resident Evil Director's Cut is coming to the PlayStation Classic. I would have preferred maybe RE3 and RE2, but you can't have everything you want. Uh, the PlayStation Classic is supposed to be a re-release of the PlayStation 1 for $100. Now, a lot of people are saying, why didn't they use the DualShock version? I believe that the PlayStation Classic doesn't use the DualShock analog sticks anyway in that bundle. So maybe that's why they are using the regular edition of that version instead of the DualShock edition. I am personally okay with this selection the DualShock version of Resident Evil 1 outside of a few cool musical pieces that soundtrack is very very bad do I have to remind you of the constant farting in tubas that is present in that soundtrack no I thought it was pretty cool that they had the OST that changed when you come back to the mansion a second time with the hunters around but that's about it that soundtrack is pretty bad and I can see why they're not using that version again because the controllers are the normal controllers and not the DualShock versions so yeah I can see why moving on we're gonna move on to the big topic so far for now and that is sleeve gate Claire Redfield's classic costume was revealed alongside Leon's costume for this Halloween. So both characters are getting their classic costumes that are reminiscent to their 1998 counterparts. This is something that people wanted to see, but there's a big problem because while Leon looks immaculate, Claire does not. In this update for classic costumes, Claire Redfield is missing the signature black undershirt and her signature black gloves. Everything else looks fine. It looks reminiscent to her original model, even with the pink booty shorts. So it comes as no surprise that there is outcry for this and reasonably so. Capcom has time to go back and fix this oversight. This is what I believe. It's an oversight, right? It has to be. And the game is not completed yet, so it could be an incompleted model and they wanted to get something out for the fans by the time Halloween came around. So maybe they weren't thinking about it. I don't think that the reasoning behind it is justifiable outside of that. I don't think that is hard to render a black t-shirt and black gloves so I can see what fans are complaining about in that regard that being said people saying that the outfit is trash i don't get it are resident evil purists ever satisfied because the jacket and the shorts are definitely faithful outside of the undershirt and the gloves being missing so to call the outfit trash is a bit of a stretch in my opinion don't you agree I mean, people are saying Capcom is lazy, they're never gonna fix it, and I think that's just gross assumption, you never know. The game isn't out yet, you never know what could be fixed, what could be updated, what could be patched, right? People are complaining that the outfit is way too red, I mean, are you people colorblind? Is that the problem? Like, I don't mean to constantly keep insulting RE purists, well, Never mind, that's a lie because I can because sometimes it's just fun seeing how deep the nitpicking will go. All they need to do is add a fucking undershirt. And if you don't like it, then maybe wait until the PC version comes out and it will come out simultaneously as the console versions and you'll be able to play around with some mods as soon as the modders get their hands on it. So I don't see this as a super big issue if you want my personal opinion it really doesn't bug me that much as is bugging other people is it weird and incompetent that a game company can't render a black t-shirt yes is it also really the biggest deal in the fucking community right now no it's really not it's really not to me actually i care more about finding out 
when a demo is coming out than actually caring about how a costume looks i'm sorry guys i don't have that same energy just keep being constructive and complaining and i'm sure they will do something to patch this outfit it doesn't seem like a hard fix and it doesn't seem like a big deal to me as people are making it out to be people having these conspiracy theories about Capcom hating Claire fans, etc. I think that's just a hill of bullshit. I think that's not true in the slightest. Sure, you could say Leon's outfit looks better than hers at the moment, but you never know until they actually dig down and figure out what the problem is. Hopefully they aren't lazy. If they are lazy, call them out. If they aren't and this gets remedied, then who cares? Stop having all these conspiracy theories and thinking that shit can never be fixed because obviously it can obviously pc modders probably can fix it it's not a big fucking deal to me it's not a big deal at all um moving on the last bit of news here is that capcom they're doing remasters of re4 re0 and remake one all for the switch that's good i mean that's just good news. More platform owners will be able to play those games if they haven't experienced it already and they will be able to play on the go. Um, so that's just a really good choice. Some people are saying, oh, why isn't Resident Evil 5? Why isn't Resident Evil 6 on the Switch? I'm sure there must be some reason. Resident Evil 6 is kind of extensive as a game so maybe i don't know they might run into some interference with that that being said they have to come to some compromise because again resident evil 5 runs really well on the current gen counterparts like ps4 xbox pc it runs really good well i wouldn't even say pc is like current gen more like beast gen PC can handle that shit no problem. But the Switch might come into some issues here or there and they might have to make some compromises or maybe Capcom just doesn't feel like porting those games just yet. I can't tell you how Revelations, the collection for one and two, I can't tell you how that ran on Switch because I have no idea. But again, if it ran like ass, there might be some issues with that port in particular when it comes to re5 and re6 here's hoping that it comes in the future however i think that personally the switch is just a testing ground for third-party developers who originally weren't interested in putting their games on the platform now that they see that the switch crossed the lap and it outlapped the Xbox One, a lot of people want their games on that platform because it's making money and appealing to a certain market. So Capcom was hesitant at first, and now they're like, well, maybe we can make some more money on the Switch. So that's why Resident Evil is on that platform. Now, I don't agree with how RE7 was handled on the Switch because it was a cloud version you could rent it for 140 or 50 days and that's it hopefully they don't compromise and make a stupid bastardized version of resident evil 2 remake on switch but this is a company who wants to make money so never say never but i think that's going to happen in the long run to gain more consumer interest so you might get a botch port of remake 2 down the line on this platform cloud base completely just dumb in my opinion stop compromising games i hate it but it's a necessary evil when it comes to the switch that being said it is good to see all those games there even though i would say resident evil 4 is the whore of resident evil like no fucking shit like that game has been ported so many times it's ridiculous compared to the other ones thumbs up on re0 and remake I think they will make an Origins collection and they will eventually rebundle those games. Hopefully it's not stupid expensive because let's be honest, sometimes the Switch carts and cartridges, they can be overpriced. I believe that LA Noir, the remaster costs more on the Switch than it did on the other platforms, which is dumb. 
that's really dumb to be paying more on another platform as opposed to the other graphically superior ones but again to recap redc being on the playstation classics that's great Claire Redfield's sleeve gate I agree it does need to be fixed but flat out saying the costume is unfaithful and garbage that feels like a bit of a misnomer because everything else looks fine outside of the black shirt and gloves being missing and Resident Evil 4 Zero and remake coming to the switch gives people more of an opportunity to play those games on the go and that is awesome so this is my sort of opinion on all this stuff my news update on all the resident evil news that came out this week sorry for being so slow on it i have been working on other projects i am working on possibly doing a first impressions red dead 2 podcast because i've been playing the shit out of red dead redemption 2 and i love it i love it so far also some people asked me to do a review on castlevania season two i really want to get to that show i haven't watched it but i might start unpacking tonight and getting into it and starting to formulate my review process from there so i can get that out as soon as i can believe me i do have the first two episodes so i'm gonna watch that and then i'm gonna see how the show is and give my first impressions on it on twitter and then i'll start formulating the video last but not least i noticed the exponential increase in subscribers and requests and i want to say videos do take time to complete remember quality greater than quantity uh i have to record at certain times i have to write everything out and get my full thoughts do revisions it's not that easy so bear with me if you're a new sub if you don't see videos instantly and immediately i'm also working on my podcast account as well and that also takes time so take some time out and go back and watch my older stuff i know it's asking a lot but you might actually dig up some stuff that is pretty interesting while i work on newer content because again videos take a while to make man seriously they do uh anyway this is renegade albert of signing off hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video be sure to like dislike comment subscribe let me know what you feel about this news and i will see you guys soon later